Good morning. It is a nice hot start to day six here on Anthropocene. We are here on the balcony and it is hot, peaceful, gorgeous day. And we're looking forward to the first of two sea days as we head back to Bayonne. We're going to get things started down at Azumi for an early lunch and we'll go from there. Let's go. Here at Izumi, we took part in the sushi making experience. We were given the ingredients and instructions and this became our lunch. It's an upcharged activity, but it was fun and tasted great. But now, time for coffee. Cafe Promenade is located on the Esplanade and it is an included food location. So you can get parfaits, fresh fruit, bakery items, and of course, coffee. So it's a good place to stop if you're not wanting to sit down for a full breakfast. And yeah, it's included. You can also head over to La Patisserie for some upcharged desserts and some Starbucks coffee. We decided to grab a dessert and coffee to take back to our stateroom. It is here that we noted that although you may be on your private balcony, if North Star is operating and people are out for some great ocean views, that view could also include you on your balcony. It's supposed to get foggy, which it is now, but tonight it's still pretty smooth. Finishing up our, our afternoon, we're gonna get ready for dinner soon. It is royal night, so lobster night in the main dining room, so we're gonna check that out. But we just come up to the top deck here. We had a few showers, it was a bit foggy earlier, but as you can see, beautiful sunset tonight. Despite how many activities and everything going on on the ship, it's nice just to get out and see these views and take it all in. This is really what makes cruising really unique and enjoyable and yeah, it's one of those things that you just don't get on some other vacations, so we always try to find time to, to take this in. Okay, we are ready for Royal Night in the main dining room. After dinner, we took in a bit of Perry Grant and then we headed over to the Quest game show. We were a bit late getting there, so we didn't have great seats, but the Quest is always fun. We finished up the night in the music hall and that did it for day six. Hello from our second sea day as we head back to Bayonne. We had a very relaxing day today. We had something to eat, we had a nap, and now we are going to pack, which is not always the fun part, but first we are actually heading to our one specialty dining that we're doing on this cruise, and that is to Wonderland. So come along, we're gonna check out Wonderland. We've never eaten there, and uh, we'll see what it's all about. Okay, we are now at Wonderland and we are about to use the apparent magic water to paint the menu. And there it is.
then off to a final bit of entertainment from Perry Grant for this cruise. His name is Will. Will, hello everybody at home. His name is Will. It's going to take Can't Help Falling in Love. This is Will. <laughs> it's taking. Stand over there. Hand, a little in the middle, in the middle. Get the, get the crowd, but get mainly me first. <laughs> I'm the star. Uh, get me in occasionally. Seas. We are all packed and ready for disembarkation tomorrow. Our final day was super relaxing. We just hung out in some of the venues around the ship, had a nice nap this afternoon, and then we spent this evening just watching more of Perry Grant in the schooner bar. We would highly recommend that if you're coming on this ship or any Royal Caribbean ship that he's performing on to check him out. It's, uh, he's been great. We had our final one specialty dining for this cruise uh, in Wonderland, which was a very unique experience, and we'll, uh, we'd recommend doing that at least once to give it a try. And uh, no, overall, it was a great final day. Uh, we are going to head to bed, and then, uh, yeah, we'll see you for disembarkation. Good night. Well, everyone, that's it for this trip on Anthem of the Seas. And this was an amazing trip. Uh, here on Anthem of the Seas. It was uh, as great as we remembered the first time we were on the ship and quite frankly it is still looking like a great modern ship inside. We had a great time on Anthem of the Seas the first time we were on her back in 2016 and this time was no different. One of the great things about cruising is the opportunity to meet new people and this week was no different. We met some wonderful people throughout the week. The ship had about 4,700 passengers, but quite frankly, with that number of passengers, along with 1,500 crew, the ship really did not feel all that busy too often, uh, which was great. In terms of the ship and how it's aging, uh, the ship is only about eight years old, so it's still looking great. Overall, this was a great cruise on Anthem of the Seas, and we'd recommend it to anyone looking for a combination of modern facilities, traditional cruise experience. There's something for everyone on Quantum-class ships. We really hope you've enjoyed the videos we've brought you from here on Anthem of the Seas. If you have, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel because we have announcements coming up soon about the cruises we have booked in the months ahead. Thank you for watching, and until then, we'll see you on the next cruise. Well, disembarkation was a breeze. We went right from our room and we were already in the gangway, literally three minutes. That concludes our time on Anthem of the Seas. We'll have a wrap-up video coming soon. See you then.